Hi little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here and welcome back to another Disney Theories Explored. So this Disney theory is a very interesting one. It's one that I've come across multiple times and it's one that I'm sure you guys know fairly well. Uh, so the Disney theory is Carl dies at the beginning of Up. Now, if you haven't seen Up, uh, I recommend going to watch it because it, it, there is a, there are spoilers in here. But if you guys don't mind it and you still want to listen, that's totally fine by me. So we'll get into this uh, theory. I'll read it to you guys and then I'll kind of tell you how I feel about the theory. And then at the end of the video, or even right now, you can tell me in the comment section down below what you think of this theory. Carl dies at the beginning of Up. The first few minutes of Up are a harsh dose of reality. We need a box of tissues just thinking about it. So it's weird, the rest of the movie is filled with the magical elements like flying horses and talking dogs. One possible explanation. Carl actually passed away the night before he was going to be taken to Shady Oaks, and the movie follows his journey into the afterlife as if it wasn't said sad enough. Alright y'all, so this Disney theory is obviously a common one. It's been around since up pretty much started, you know? Uh, I like the idea of it. I mean, I don't <laughs> remember any flying horses. Unless I just haven't seen the movie recently and I need to go back and watch it. As far as the talking dogs, those were collars made by somebody who was incredibly intelligent. So, I mean, I don't understand how that's really, like, magical or anything like that. But, I mean, to me, it's, it's like everyone kind of has their own theory. Everyone kind of just, you know, throws out there what they think is a possibility. But, I mean, either way, I like the, the concept that, you know, Carl had passed at the beginning of Up. Because how I learned the theory, at the very least, was that he passed away, you know, before Shady Oaks could take him. And then as he was, you know, trying to pass onto the other side, you know, he was having issues. And that's why, and I mean, that's why, you know, uh, what was that little kid's name? Russell. That's why Russell showed up before he got taken away to Shady Oaks. Because, or I think it was after the guys came. But, uh, the, I mean, it's the idea that... Russell is almost like the kid that Ellie and Carl had lost. So I like that idea that it's like a guardian angel taking him to where he needs to move on to. But then at the same time, it's like, well, then what about the ending, you know, where, I mean, again, spoilers if you haven't seen it, the ending where he, you know, goes to Russell's scout meeting thing and pins a badge on him and is, you know it just it doesn't make much sense to me in that case but I mean I like the idea of it the idea is it a very nice theory but unfortunately it's just not one I think could really be stuck to the movie unless it carried out through the whole movie but anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below what you think of this theory or if you have others of your own about the movie up bye little skeletons stay safe I love you guys